Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt, and I'm super excited to talk to you today about Ghost 4.0 that just came out yesterday and is a major update to the Ghost blogging platform. Uh, it's what I use for my personal website, so I'm super invested in what they're doing. I've already installed it on my site, and I wanted to give you an overview of kind of what I've noticed so far and what I've seen from their change log that uh, the Ghost Corporation company, LLC, what, what, what Ghost is excited about. <laughs> So this 4.0 update is really all about memberships. If you use memberships in Ghost, this is gonna be a massive update for you. Uh, basically all the big new functionality is around memberships. This being kind of members to your site, members to your newsletter that you run through Ghost, all of that is getting better. Uh, and you'll see that right away in your admin control panel, as you can see, a dashboard. And this dashboard has stats, it has insights to your members and kind of what they're doing, how engaged they are, uh, whether your numbers are going up or down. All that good stuff. I'll show you a screenshot of mine right now where there is nothing, and that's because I don't use any of Ghost's membership features. Uh, so I really can't speak to this firsthand, but it seems like this is where most of the energy went. And that makes total sense with things like Substack getting tons of uh, attention, uh, Ghost, or not Ghost, she's Twitter, um, acquiring companies to get uh, newsletters out there. Newsletters are the new hotness. They're everywhere. You can't get away from them right now, it seems. And Ghost is a really great place to do that. They've made some updates to their payments, so it still uses Stripe as the back end, uh, but they've added support for Google Pay and Apple Pay. Uh, they've added support for some new stuff with members in Zapier, so they have a native Zapier integration that you can do some membership stuff there to send things off to do other things, whatever magic you wanna do through Zapier. And they have this member importer that lets you bring in members from somewhere else into your ghost site. So this is something I may actually want to look at. I don't really wanna move, I hate moving platforms, uh, but, if I wanted to move over to Ghost, this seems like a good thing to have there. They say it'll bring over all their contact info, like emails and name and all that good stuff, as well as payment information. I'm not sure how they're doing that, but hopefully there's some sort of reasonable explanation there. Um, and then this is also kind of related to another migration service, this concierge service that they are now offering to people who are moving to Ghost from something else, something like WordPress or Squarespace or something. And basically how this works is it's really manual. Um, I wrote a blog post uh, when I moved over to Ghost at the end of 2019, and it was a pain. Like, I was able to do it, but I'm pretty technical. I'm able to figure out this stuff, and I moved from WordPress to Ghost, and I'm super happy with the move. I'm so much happier with Ghost than I was with WordPress. But it was a pain. <laughs> like, things were hard. It was hard to do some things. Some images didn't come over. Like, it wasn't a perfect switch. It was pretty good. I'm pretty proud of it, but it wasn't perfect. This. It sounds like basically what they do is they ask you for an API key or some sort of credential to access your content on the old system, and they will manually move it over for you in the background. So from your perspective, it's automatic, uh, but there's someone behind the scenes like physically doing whatever I did. They're doing something similar, hopefully more professionally than what I did. But yeah, uh, that's a very nice service because switching blogging platforms is such a pain. And so this service that they offer, which is totally free, is a really welcome addition. Then there are updates to the editor. So the editor is where I spend most of my time in Ghost. That's where a lot of my stuff gets done. That's where I write my posts. Uh, that's where I manage my posts. And so these, this is like the spot that I'm most interested in seeing what's changed. And not a ton has changed. Uh, the biggest update I can see is with previews. So you can preview articles much better now. Uh, and they let you see them on desktop, mobile, and kind of like what they look like on social media. That's nice. What I really like is that whenever you're previewing a link, they give you this private link as well that you can share right away and give to somebody so they can take a look at the post before it goes public. That's really nice. I love when websites let you do that and I'm glad to see Ghost have it now. But that's really the big change. Um, there's some content snippets that they do. So if you put the same stuff in over and over, there's these content snippets you can add to your posts. That could be cool. I don't really have a use for it, but that could be cool. Uh, the accent color, you're able to set a custom accent color for your website now. And that accent color is used in your theme mostly, but it also carries over to the editor. So like links will be in the color that you select. Um, and then the mobile editor, which is like my biggest pain point, the thing I like the least about Ghost, appears unchanged. It still sucks to edit on your iPhone. It sucks on the iPad even. It's, it's really shocking to me how bad the editor is on mobile. Um, they used to send give you a pop-up on the phone that said like, this is a beta or not, or this is not officially supported. Don't use it, go to a desktop. Uh, I didn't see that banner this time, but the experience is the same. It's not very good, unfortunately. Theming has also gotten an update this year uh, with some nice little quality of life improvements. Uh, you can still install themes the same way you did before where you upload a zip file to your site, 
but they've also made it easier to install them from the theme directory, uh, which doesn't involve any downloads or anything. You can install them straight away. You can also preview them live without actually putting it live on your site. Uh, previously, this was a pain as well, so you really had to have a, a test site set up to preview your theme before you applied it to production, or else you did what I often do and test in production and see if things work. So that's really nice to see. Uh, they also recently acquired the company iVeal. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, uh, that has just a bunch of really nice themes. And so they've added those to their theme directory and those are totally free. Uh, so there's a lot more free high quality options for theming your ghost site as well. Kind of along the same lines, there's a new experts directory. This lets you find freelancers or agencies who work with Ghost and do things with Ghost. So if you need something done, this is one of the things that's great about WordPress is that if you need something done in WordPress, odds are 50 people have already done it. Uh, but with Ghost, sometimes it's hard to find someone who's done exactly what you need and has made it like available on GitHub or something where you can download it. This lets you get in touch more easily with people who know how to use Ghost. Um, you're gonna have to pay for it, of course. These are like professional services, but if that's the sort of thing you need, then this is a great asset. And then there's just some little things. Uh, the, there's a new UI uh, that they've kind of done. It's a little flatter than before. Uh, it's kind of black, white, and green is the, are kind of the colors. Green is the accent color. I think it looks nice. I think it looks better than it did before. I didn't have a problem with it before, but I think it does look a little better now. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, dark mode is darker. There's just some stuff here, like the settings icons are different. Um, nothing huge, but just a nice little freshening up of the UI, which is always nice for a major update. And then finally, there is a cheaper Ghost Pro option. It starts at $9 a month. That is $9 a month uh, as they advertise it, which is paying for it up front, a year up front. If you pay for it month to month, it's $15 a month, which is still kind of expensive for hosting a blog, uh, but that is there if you want it. It is still open source, so you can still download Ghost and install it on your own web server. That's what I do. It costs me like five bucks a month, which is great. <laughs> I'm using DigitalOcean, but you can use really any hosting provider that you like. Uh, that's still a, an amazing option for it. Uh, but yeah, if you do want the fully hosted, fully managed solution that they have, you can do Ghost Pro for a little less money than before. I think previously it was $30 a month. Uh, so $9 a month for the year um, is much, much <laughs> cheaper than that. And so yeah, that is Ghost 4.0. Uh, this is really just an overview. I wasn't able to get into everything in detail, especially because I don't use memberships, which is kind of a shame, <laughs> but there is still uh, quite a bit here. I think it's just a nice refinement of the platform overall. And then if you're using their membership service, it's a big update. So hopefully if you're using those, you're very, very happy with those updates. I'd love to hear if you're using Ghost in the comments, if you're using something else uh, because you don't like Ghost or have never heard of Ghost, I'd also love to hear that. While you're down there, please hit the subscribe button. I really appreciate that. And I'll see you here next time. Bye-bye.